Hey guys, um, so I'm about to head to the gym right now, um, I'm gonna do leg day for you guys today, I'm finally getting around to filming, um, my workout in the gym, but I don't think that I'm going to be taking this big ass camera in the gym with me, um, it's just like too honky and like, big, so I think I'm just gonna make my friend film on his phone, um, so... That it won't be like as big and annoying um but yeah so i'm just gonna be doing my favorite leg workout today just like all my favorite leg exercises um and yeah i hope you guys like it i hope that it helps you guys out and if you have any questions let me know in the comments So the first exercise I'm doing for this workout is called a Romanian deadlift. And so here I have my feet shoulder width apart and I'm bringing the dumbbell down towards my ankles. And for this exercise, you really want to focus on, first of all, keeping the dumbbell or the barbell as close to your shins as possible when you're bringing it down and then keeping only a slight bend in the knees. And then when you are bringing the barbell down, you also want to make sure that you're hinging at your hips instead of simply just lowering your back so if you notice in the video i'm kind of pushing my butt out almost like imagine you're pushing it against a wall as hard as you can um, and then just bring the barbell back up with your hamstrings instead of bringing it back up with your back so this next exercise i'm actually supersetting with the romanian deadlifts so I'm performing one set of the Romania deadlifts and then one set of this exercise back to back and then I'll take a break after I complete that set. So for this exercise, the key is that you want to make sure when your foot's coming down to the ground that it doesn't fully rest. So if you notice my foot, when it touches the ground, um, it's pretty much just the ball of my foot that's coming down and then as soon as it hits the ground, I'm propelling myself back up. And then I've also just added a donkey kick in there for some extra glute burn. So you just want to perform 40 seconds on each leg without a rest and then rest after you've completed both legs. So this exercise you guys have already seen in my last leg day video, but I'm just going to include it again because I like it so much. And then this is a slightly different variation. So in my other leg day video, I believe I did only 12 reps and then I also did a way higher weight. Um, and in this video, I'm doing a lighter weight and I'm gonna do 20 reps, so 10 reps on each leg. And then once again, same as last video, you wanna make sure that when you're squatting down, you're in the right form and that when you're curtsy lunging, you bring your other leg back as far as possible just because the further back you bring your leg, the more it's going to actually target your hamstrings and, and glutes instead of your quads. So for this next exercise, I am doing banded pulsing goblet squats. You don't need a band for this exercise. I just use it because I find that it gives my glutes a little bit of an extra burn. Um, and then I'm going to be supersetting this exercise with the squat to curtsy lunge that I just showed you guys. Um, so for this exercise, you basically just want to keep your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and then just hold the kettlebell um, with your arms straight. And I'm pulsing eight times and then I'm coming back up for a full squat. So the pulsing is really going to make you feel that extra burn in your glutes. And then when you come back up for the full squat, you want to make sure you also squeeze your glutes to just get a little bit of an added extra burn. So for this next exercise, I am doing kettlebell swings. And for this exercise, I have my feet wider than shoulder width and they're pointed slightly outwards. And then when I'm swinging the kettlebell, I'm trying to swing it back as far as possible. So really reach in behind your legs as far as you can and then just bring it back up. And when you bring the kettlebell back up, you want to make sure you are squeezing your glutes at the top. So to finish off my last superset, I am doing walking kettlebell lunges, and this is pretty much just like a basic walking lunge, but if you notice when I'm lunging, I'm never fully coming all the way back up, so I'm trying to stay as low to the ground as I can while I'm lunging, just because I want to keep my quads and my glutes and my hamstrings under constant tension, and when you do a regular walking lunge and you essentially rest at the top when you 
extend fully. Um, it's actually decreasing your time under tension. So you're not going to get that full burn that you would if you try to stay low throughout the entire exercise. So to finish off my leg day, I am doing seated bench squats, which it's essentially the same thing as a normal squat. But when you come down, you want to fully rest on the bench behind you and then come back up, pushing through your heels and using your glutes and your hamstrings. So I like this exercise a lot because it focuses more on my glutes for me as opposed to with regular squats. I feel them a lot more in my quads. So yeah, that is the end of this leg day video. I hope you guys enjoyed and feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.